John Nelson Wright, University of Cambridge. Um, Professor Krugman, if the problem is um, President Trump and his economic advisors, is retaliation going to have any impact, do you think, on President Trump's base? And uh, how will that, do you think, affect the dynamic politically in the United States? I mean, the short answer in, in both cases is I don't know. Uh, it's been very hard to, to figure this out. Um, my, my read on the U.S. political situation is that the, uh, that economic issues are actually play less of a role than many people want to think. There's a, uh, there, there is, it's become a running joke in the United States to, people said, oh, well, the Trump voters were, were voting on the basis of economic anxiety. And then every time you come up with some extremely racist uh, statements from Trump supporters, uh, people make a joke, oh, yeah, there's some of that economic anxiety. Uh, if, you, if you actually look at, at, at the issues that really seem to be hot button, they are immigration rather than trade. Uh, they are, and the immigration in turn has very little to do with any actual consequences of immigration. It really is about, uh, about uh, ethnicity and race and, and, and identity politics. That said, um, you remember it was a very close election uh, in, in 2016. In fact, the, the, the public made a clear choice. The public chose Hillary Clinton. And because of the uh, peculiarities of the U.S. electoral system, the other guy ended up in the White House. Um, and uh, at the moment, if we can believe the polls, the, the midterm elections are actually quite close. Again, the public clearly favors the Democrats, but there's a structural advantage because of, of the U.S. political system, which means that they have to win by a sufficiently large margin to actually take control. So that, um, and this could make the difference. Now, there, there's, there are some reports already that you know, some, some workers are, are, are upset by what they see of the initial effects of trade war. Others are saying, oh, it's, not, it's somebody else is doing it. It's not, it's not President Trump's fault. And nobody, I think, really knows. Uh, but it could be enough to, to, to make the difference. Now, about Trump backing off, um, I have, it's very unclear that uh, he's listening. Uh, that uh, uh, he's, that he may just uh, see any political backlash as a sign that uh, people are out to get him, and uh, may his, so far uh, almost every policy that has produced a backlash he has simple, simply doubled down on it. So the belief that that we're going to get him to change his position very much is not clear, uh, and could constrain him, but. It's tricky. Uh, U.S. trade law uh, gives the president an enormous amount of discretionary power, uh, which was always based on the assumption that it would never be used capriciously. And so it would take extraordinary legislative action uh, for, for Trump to be forced to change this trade policy.